Okay. So we ready to do this? Somebody tell everybody a refresh. I'm still licking my atomizer. I'll wait till everybody gets in here. couple seconds. Rich is drunk. Is there a new Mod Envy drinking game that we don't know about? Okay guys, so here's what's going on. For Christmas, my computer died. I had to rebuild everything. So, that being said, uh, yeah. One of the things that happened is I lost my save game um, I've got back to where we were in the story but it's slightly different because I used hacks to get there uh, one thing happened that didn't happen on our first playthrough for the people that's been watching this uh, a saga has offered to make us lunch every day Okay, so a saga has offered to make us lunch. I intentionally did not go eat a saga's lunch yet so that I can read that part. Yeah. Let me juice up my atomizer and we'll get this shit started and I'll get some music going. Yeah, it sucked having a hard drive crash on Christmas Day and getting absolutely no gifts. My Christmas was pretty miserable, actually. New Year's made up for it. Uh, no, I just rebuilt my uh, my Asus. Uh, it was a hard drive crash, so it took a lot of work to actually even get to uh, boot. I'm vaping an Alien 220 uh, at 100 watts with uh, my double vision on top. with my DIY juice. Okay, so one thing I have to do is I cheated the girl's affection level so that they wouldn't bug the fuck out of me while I was trying to speed through.
Yeah, I just re-wigged. Um, Juice-wise, I'm... Uh, Juice-wise, I'm vaping my normal uh, DIY. Okay. Let's play the intro. This is something I normally couldn't have done. King's like, what the hell is this? Okay, so quick reminder for the people that, yeah, my laptop crashed. I did what I could to get us back to where we were, but a saga, the crazy redhead. Now, uh, oh shit, that's start, that's not load. Uh, the crazy redhead is now willing to make us lunch. I haven't ate a saga's lunch yet, so let's go try a saga's lunch. We can eat in the classroom. Um, to answer Vape King, what the hell this is, I go through and play this game, Sunrider Academy. There are four girls. You have Ava, our childhood friend. Um, Asaga, the crazy redhead. You have Chigura, who's like the science geeky girl. And you have Sola, who's the girl that doesn't speak. And I'm trying to get laid in college. That's all you need to know. So I'm scared. Let's go to the classroom and eat lunch. Today was the first day of eating the saga's lunches. I started getting apprehensive about the coming inevitability. What if it was terrible? Do I tell Saga right off the bat and offend her? Or do I resign myself to eating terrible lunches for the rest of my school life? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Asaga unveiled her creation, looking pretty damn full of herself. Ta-da! <laughs> Urk, the 
contents of the box cause me to grimace. Was this stuff even food? What is this? It's my special blend! Blend? Question mark, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point. Come on, Kato, have a taste. You won't regret it. I steeled myself and took a bite of the food. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Wow. The world around me seemed to warp and distort. Whoa. She put LSD in there, didn't she? She put some LSD in there. A numbing sensation traveled through my body, followed by a strange tingling in all my extremal extremities. She's roofing us! She's been stalking us now, she's roofing us with lunch boxes. My senses then returned to me. <laughs> Moments later, the food hit my taste buds. This is actually really good. Save for the strange out-of-body sensation at the beginning. See, I told ya. So what you put in it? That's my secret. I took a nerve bite of the food. The taste was seemingly incredible. The more I ate it, the more it filled me with a sensation of my problems flo floating away and the pressure on my shoulders lifting. Why did this sound like some kind of illegal drug? Probably because it is. Probably because it is. Just saying. <laughs> Eating a saga's lunch at the classroom will now reduce your stress by one. Nice. I entered the student council room with a, a plume. Yo, Prez! Looks like I made the cut! Ava only face palmed at her hollow. Unbelievable. Will you ever just knock and enter the room peacefully for a change? Anyways, I guess you did pretty well. Just keep it up, alright? Whoa, did I manage to impress Ava? Understood, Prez! I won't let you down. There's one more thing, dot, 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 uh-oh. Now that the school year started in earnest, the school will be expecting results from our students' clubs. Sunrider Academy is a top academy for select students, so it strives to lead other students in cultural, scientific, and athletic competitions. <laughs> Sorry, Ronan White. Uh, Jace Wag, yeah, I'm a little behind where we were. Shouldn't be very far behind. Uh, the same high standards which apply to regular clubs also apply to the trouble clubs that you're overseeing, Cato. You'll have to lead them to victory and up competition soon or else the school will really shut them down. You win prestige for the school by winning club competitions. Just placing a competition gets you 10 prestige, second place gets you 30, winning first place gets you 50. You must have at least 40 prestige at the end of this month in order to avoid a bad end. And be careful, the minimum prestige requirement increases each month so you'll have to progressively win more competitions. I think I understand. Uh, one thing after another, huh? You have a lot of things on your plate now. Work hard and don't let me down, okay? I got it, Prez. So we are on week, uh, month two, week one. So let's go pull over to practice, yay. I got a message on the hollow from Asaga and Chigura to meet them at the arcade. Should I attend? We should attend. Alright! Congrats for finishing the first round of exams, everyone! Asaga raised her cup of soda and chugged it down, obviously very glad that the exams were over. <laughs> I hear Kato did very well. Ooh, teacher, please show us 
Normal, share secrets. There, there's no secret method. Just a lot of hard work and studying. Uh, I was afraid of that. Hee <laughs> hee, our manager's, uh, I'm glad our manager's so on top of things. Eh, good thing I didn't flunk out in the first month, huh? Good thing indeed. Because you probably would have set a new school record for the quickest flunk out if you managed that. But Sunrider Academy sure is hard, eh? If you get placed under the 45th percentile, you're not even allowed to be a club captain. I managed to dodge the bullet this time. I was suddenly filled with nervousness on Asaga's behalf. While I didn't want to rain on the parade, my confidence in her brain capacity was not that high. I, would, uh, I wouldn't want Asaga to be forced to resign as club captain because her grades couldn't meet the requirement. But seriously, just what's with the student council press? The other day she saw me playing on my hollow in the court and boy did she ever give me a mouthful for that. Something about ruining the image of Sunrider Academy. Damn it. But I was, it wasn't even school hours. What she care what I do with my own time? Ava can be like that. In fact, she was always critical of anything I do. On top of being overbearing, bossy, and absolutely unempathetic of other people's feelings. It's just the way she is. Besides, there's uh, no one on campus who cares more about her school. She's trying to do her best to protect our school's reputation. Well, she's going about it in all the wrong ways. If I was student council pres, I'd loosen up the rules a bit, you know? I don't see why... Everything has to be all suit and tie all the time. While I certainly agreed that Ava could loosen up a bit, the thought of a saga becoming the student council president filled me with horrific visions of a dystopian academy. Boys and girls running through the halls half naked, windows boarded up and graffiti everywhere, and a saga standing atop a pile of desks in the student council in the absolute queen of chaos. Ha 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 ha! She would cackle as she commanded her hordes to destroy all civilized order. The academy would fall apart. Well, let's uh, let's all just try to get along, okay, Asaga? The president's only doing her job. Fooey! Let's hope Asaga never becomes planetary ruler, or else I had no idea what unspeakable misfortunes would befall her subjects. Anyway, it's enough about her. Now that we're all here, let's have some fun! Hee <laughs> What a busy day. Fell into bed, quickly went to sleep. Time for school. Where should I eat? Classroom. Eat lunch. Let me knock out this homework real quick. We have to do our homework, or otherwise we lose the game. Okay. What club do y'all want me to work on? Swim club, kendo club, or science club? Or I can go bother uh, Ava at the student council room. Science, science. Everybody's wanting me to go for Chigura now. They're, they're going for the geeky girl. Last homework. Boom. What a busy day. What's coming up events? <coughs> Our next thing is a kendo tournament next week. Um, none of them need worked on at all. It's just I'm more likely to run into uh, Sola at the pool. 
I'm more likely to run in Chigura at the science lab. I'm more likely to run into uh, a saga at the gym. And I'm more likely to run into Ava at the student council. Science poll gym. Science. Two for science. And I did make sure that I reset all the girls to... Oh, it didn't take. Let me fix that real quick. That's why none of the girls are popping up. How the fuck do you spell Chigura? That worked. So, now all the girls are set back to where they were. Kato, what a coincidence. We can talk about classwork, politics, sports, weather, gossip, joke, flirt, religion, uh, reminisce, pervy joke, jobs, or charm. Pervy joke. Pervy joke. Oh, thank yous. All right, what do we want to do on our day off? Shrine. Shrine it is. I did not expect to see you here. What a coincidence. So what do we want to talk to Solo about? Charm? Charm it is. No, I'm not worthy of such praise. Hey, Michelle. All right, where to? Keep going to the shrine? Alright, charm worked. What's next? Flirt. Flirt. Ah, oh, why must you be so bold? Oh, she's blushing. Extracurriculars are in session. Where do we want to go? The pool? That's where Sola hangs out, is the pool. Since you all like the girl that doesn't talk, that's now starting to talk.
study or work out? Work out. Study. Need two people to agree on something here. Hey, mother buying citizen. Work out. Ah, Ava's hanging out there. How's it going, kiddo? How do we want to hit on Ava? I got 25 people watching this craziness. We want to talk to her about classwork, reminisce, sports. I got two for reminisce. Really? That's interesting. It worked. Uh, Mr. Manager, how are you doing? Okay, so we got Chigura now. Flirt. Thank you. She liked it. Hey, 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 kiddo, what's up? So what do we want to do with Crazy Stalker Girl? Really politics with the dumb chick charm gossip politics it is <laughs> y'all pick some fucking weird ones it sure seems that way I guess she liked it Okay, what are we doing with Chigura? Like, sadly, if I was in game, Chigura's probably the one I'd go for. Weather, sports, joke, flirt. <laughs> okay, we got two for weather. I didn't know that she liked it. I think at this point they all like them all. So are we going to continue stalking the girls at the pool and being the creepy guy sending the bleachers watching the girls swim team or are we going to do something else? Okay, everybody wants me. Everybody's like, get in them solo panties. Get in them solo panties. Damn it. Oh, I saw two there for lab, so I might have to do. start splitting it. We got. we got people. 
Hey, hey, Kendo, what's up? What do we want to talk to her about? <laughs> the half the stalker saga is. <laughs> Pervy joke, gossip joke, perfect joke, perfect joke. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> there you go. Yo, how's it going? Perfect joke again. Yeah, regular joke. I got one for. Okay, there's perfect joke again. Some people want me to do science club, so we'll do science club split. Uh oh, there's Sola. Did not expect you here. What a coincidence. What do we want to do with Sola? Religion. Okay. R religion. Apparently it is religion. You are correct. She didn't seem to like that as much. Let's do it again. I have the day off. First off, let's uh, go ahead and get intel. Eh. We're coming ahead with uh, Sola there. I have the 18. This is the uncentered version. Um, so there's certain points of the game where you'll see this. It means I don't know if what's coming up on screen is about to be nudity. If it's not nudity, I simply go back to the game. If it is nudity, it goes to this. All right, so I got one for Shrine, I got one for the Science Center. And one arm bandit, one Sola. They are really digging on Sola. How are we flirting with Sola? What are we going to do? Charm. No, I'm not. Oh, she's blushing. It works. Let me go to shopping district real quick. Aha! Okay. Where to? Saw so shrine, science, and park before. Where do we want to go? Park? Need to. Okay, we're going to try to park. Uh, 
Oh, Renny and Kato, what a coincidence. Why the fuck is she in the library? She's just looking for me. She really is stalking us. Okay, so what do we want to talk to Asaka about? Harvey Joe, gossip. Harvey Joe gets it. Oh, thank yous. Okay, everybody wanted me to gossip with her, so gossip will be the next time I get a saga. Where do we go? First one that gets two votes wins it. You know how this works. We can give gifts now! Where should I eat? Classroom. Yo, how's it going? So we can do one of these or we can give her a gift. Fuzzy socks? Space whale body pillow? Incense set. Well, see, that's the problem. You get to pick one at the end. You get to pick one. So do we want to flirt with her or give her something? <laughs> okay. I will give her fuzzy socks. Eh, I don't need this. Well, bitch, give it back then. Oh, well, thanks anyway. I entered the science lab. Yo, how's it going, Chigger? Um, Mr. Manager, there's an ex science exhibition coming up soon. One, two, week two. Okay. I checked my hollow. Hey, you're right. Speaking of which, Ava's been pressing the clubs to win more competitions lately. This could be a good chance for you to show off what the science club can accomplish. Is there anything you need to prepare? There is one thing. There's a prototype alliance quantum entanglement device on display at the museum. If I could take a look at it, it might ha uh, give me a chance on how to get this communicator working. Chigger pointed to a mess of tubes and wirings on one of the lab tables. Sure, why don't we go with you? <laughs> really? I wouldn't want to be a burden, Mr. Manager. It's no problem. Besides, it's all for the sake of winning the science exhibition! Maybe at the courtyard after club hours. Okay. I saw Chigoro waiting for me in the courtyard. Sorry, did you wait long? No, I just got here. <laughs> Don't piss off the science chick. She can make a body disappear. Remember Breaking Bad? Ah, really? Let's keep going then. 
We took the transit and arrived at the Science Museum shortly afterwards. The museum was always filled with gadgets and space vehicles. While I didn't know how half of this stuff worked, Chigura seemed highly interested. Hey Chigura. Yes? Where'd you learn so much about technology? You sure know uh, a lot more than what's taught in class. Um, I mostly learned from watching my parents. They let me tinker around in their workshop ever since I was little. I started with some simple gadgets like prosthetic eyes and legs. And as time passed, uh, though, I eventually learned how to make some more complicated devices. Just what part of making prosthetics was simple? Obviously, Chigger's mind worked at a full octave above anyone else's. I was in the presence of a true genius. That's incredible. Hey, have you ever considered applying for an engineering job? With everything that you know, you could uh, change the galaxy. No, my mom got into a slight accident a few years ago. Nothing serious, but my family had to turn down an off-world job because of it. So they decided I should enroll in Sunrider Academy and live like an ordinary student. It'll still be a while before I can decide on a career. For now, my only plan is to open a bakery. I'm not planning on doing anything which will change the galaxy. I see. Well, I'm sure with your intelligence you'll be pretty an amazing bakery. Ah, no. You're embarrassing me, Mr. Manager. Do you have any future plans uh, after you graduate? I want to become a starship captain! Or, not really. Hint, the correct answer is the top one. If we tell her not really, we lose the game. Like, if you want me to put not really, we can lose the game. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Hint, the correct answer is the top one. Go. <laughs> I'm sure you'd make a fine captain. I definitely feel safe on board any starship captain by Mr. Manager. Haha, <laughs> thanks. We reached the quantum entanglement device. Chigger examined the device intently, taking notes on their hollow. She seemed really into it. Dot 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 dot. It takes you to a bad end, I believe. Okay, I think I'm finished. Alright. Thank you for accompanying me, Mr. Manager. Hee <laughs> hee, I had fun. I'm glad. Let me know if you need anything else to prepare for the exhibition. Okay. We left the museum and went our separate ways. Ava, I'm surprised to see you here. I hope you're working hard. God, we get to flirt with... Oh, what can we give her? What gifts can we give her? We can give her the space whale body pillow or the incense set. Or we can just flirt with her like normal. What shall we do? Talk about what? Incenses, okay. That's pretty thoughtful, Kato. Thanks. She liked it. What a busy day. Hey, Kato, what's up? Items, gifts. The only thing we have left is the Space Whale Body Pillow. We should probably save the Space Whale Body Pillow for Sola. Since 
you know, we tell the swim team that they're like space whales. So what do we want to say to her? She would appreciate that pillow. Sports. Same pillow for Sola. Did she make lunches? Yes, we're eating her lunch every day. It removes one stress. So we got flirt, sports, weather, sports. It sure seems that way. We are on one, two, week two. I entered the gym and saw the kendo messing around with hover discs. Eh? I wonder what was going on. Oh god. Now victory will be won! Asaga hit her hover disc with her shinai, sending it flying towards the other side of the gym. Another member ran over and swung the disc back. Oh! Asaga deflected the disc, narrowly keeping it from going into her uh, goal gate. I caught the disc. What are you doing? I thought this was the Kendo Club, not the Z-Ball Club. Oh, Kato. Now, well, what's wrong with a little bit of fun every now and then? Consider a team building exercise. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> You've got to take this more seriously. I nearly jumped when I heard the angry voice behind me. Oh, so this is how you've been running the Kendo Club, Kato. Her? Prez, when do you get here? I've been receiving complaints from the Air Sports Clubs about the Kendo Club. It opened her hollow. A slew of holographic paperwork flooded out, forming a huge wall in front of Ava. Let's see. Noise complaints from the Gymnastics Club? Well, Kendo is a noise sport, Prez. You know, with the constant clashing of swords and roaring of spirits? How the hell is screaming, I'm going to rip your babies out from you, yeah, dot, 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 and chew them up, part of Kendo. Vape King, I, I kind of ran out of stories to tell. A complaint from the janitor about shenanigans never being returned to the storage room. A complaint from the Z-Ball Club about missing equipment. Ava's face turned bright red. Oh shit. Mount Cressida was about to erupt and kill absolutely everyone. This was the Ava apocalypse as we knew it. With all the losses last year, Sunray Academy Kendo Club is nothing more than a running joke throughout Sarah. And instead of trying to improve, you just cause trouble all around campus and bother our clubs. You're just a smear on Sunrider's uh, Academy's reputation. I should disband the club right now. Oi! We might not be part of the old boys network, but we still work hard. Besides, at least uh, we know how to have some fun, unlike a certain someone. Murph. Well, let's all try to get along. I risk life and limb by grabbing onto Ava's shoulders. I carted her away from the gym and tried to calm her back down. Ava yelled at me for so long that I lost track of her words. I vaguely remember seeing her shaking her fist angrily at me and stomping her foot on the ground a lot. For everyone's sake, I will omit further details of her long-winded triad. It's a lost cause. I'm done here. Ava stormed back upstairs, obviously not in a good mood. She's really pissed off. Asaga. Jeez, what's her problem? We are just having a bit of fun. This is mostly your fault, you know? <laughs> sorry, sorry. All this was probably some lighthearted comedy routine in Asaga's mind. 
Argos. She couldn't take it a bit more seriously. Here I was, caught between an obviously stressed out president and a club captain who was so easygoing that she could fart during a state funeral and st uh, start giggling. Arg, I grabbed my face and messed up my hair in frustration. Whatever. Let's just begin practice. Hey, Mini Clouds. Do homework. I'm surprised to see you here. Hope you're working hard. Okay, what do we want to do with Ava? Classwork, politics, sports, weather, gossip, joke, flirt, religion, charm, job, perfect joke, reminisce. Last word. Last word it is. I'll make a note of that. Oh, running into Kato. What a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. You're giving me my lunch, damn it. Okay, what do we want to do with the saga? Flirt. Flirt. Okay, flirt. Oh, thank yous. I'm surprised to see you here. I hope you're working hard. What do we want to do with Ava? Should we try to charm her? Flirt, charm. Charm it is. Really? Uh, thanks. She likes it. Hey, 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 Kato, what's up? Oh, good lord. We're almost five hearts with a saga. We're four hearts with uh, Ava, almost four with Chigura, and almost four with Sola. Yeah, we can safely flirt with any of them right now. I was walking Fleet Admiral through the park when I noticed a familiar face. Fleet Admiral's, uh, the dog. Arf, arf. Ah! Don't worry, Fleet Admiral's a man of character. Chigger nervously edged out of the leash's range. Um, Chigger's not really good with dogs. Admiral, sit. Fleet Admiral whined and sat down. Good dog. What brings you out here, Chigger? I was just going to do some shopping. I noticed several large bags of groceries floating behind her. Whoa! 
This is my latest invention, anti-gravity marbles. Whenever you need to carry a lot of groceries, you slip a few into the bags and it makes it weightless. Amazing, as usual. But I never thought uh, you need so much food. Do you have a big family? Yes, I live with two other sisters. I never thought Trigger would have siblings. <laughs> I would have never guessed. I haven't met any of them, have I? Really? My twin sister is attending Sunrider Academy as well. She's got a twin sister. Are you sure you haven't seen her? Nope. I guess it's a pretty big campus. People always get us mixed up because we're identical twins. Identical twins? What a surprise! Usually you only see identical twins in detective shows on the hollow. I guess I should keep a lookout on campus for Chigger's twin sister. Now I was really curious what she was like. You should introduce me to her sometime. I'd uh, like to meet her. Okay. Anyways, I didn't mean to take up your time. I'll see you later, Chigura. Have a good evening. As I entered the game center, I called a familiar face. Yo, kiddo! Taking a break? <laughs> you could say that. Visiting the game center on break day... Uh, by your lonesome, still living the bachelor life, aren't you? Well, I wonder how much longer that'll last. What do you mean? There's a rumor spreading through the school about uh, the popular vice president who's been trying to save the trouble clubs. I hear he's quite good looking, too. Really? I had no idea there were any rumors about me. No way, you're making that up, the saga. Eh, my only, uh, it's only natural... That being a figure on the student council would draw attention to you. Besides, you're the only person saving us from the wrath of the student council president. Good thing we have you, or else the school would become um, like a military vessel. And it's not just me who thinks that, you know? A lot of people are beginning to grumble about the press. That was worrying. Even though Ava was hard to get along with, she still cared about the school uh, the most uh, out of everyone. Hell... Just do your best to protect the school from her and your popularity will keep increasing, okay? Maybe, uh, maybe we uh, maybe we might even be able to overthrow her. I'm not doing this to get popular, Saga. I'm doing this. I'm doing my best as vice president to keep the peace. Don't get any wrong ideas, alright? Alright, alright, Mr. Vice President. Saga suddenly wrapped herself around my arm. What? Eh, lucky. Let's have fun today, Kato. That's our only... Transition! Okay, there we go. That's our only mission. Yeah? Her mood kept changing way too fast. And besides that, she was being awfully friendly around me now. Even though the girl's attention obviously struck me in all the right ways, I was getting worried about what Asaga had to say. Was there really that much resentment built up against uh, the president? And now people thought uh, that I was trying to fight against Ava's disciplinary uh, policies? Even though it was true, I tried to counter Ava's strictness. It was because I wanted to become more... Uh, it wasn't because I wanted to become more popular than her replace her. I just wanted the student body to appreciate Ava's hard work. If only Ava would mellow out a bit, I sighed. Well, I should worry about that later. For now, I was just here to unwind a bit. Okay, thank God. Sorry, that was going the wrong way. Well, it was going the right way, but the wrong way for showing on screen. Alright, so what do we want to do with Ava? Charm again? Excuse me. I think once we get charm unlocked, it gives us the most. You're flattering me. A 
Jew. What do we want to do with Chigura? Do we want to try to charm Chigura? Not Chigura, Shola, sorry. Shola. So we got ch charm. Oh yeah, we gotta give Sola the gift. Thank you, I almost forgot about that. Question marks? What's this strange contraption? She apparently didn't like it that much. Okay, is there any girls y'all don't want me to just charm from here out? There's Chigura. Charm them all getting orgy going. The redhead is trouble. She likes charm too. They all like charm, so we'll charm them all. Not the redhead. Okay, so we will talk to the redhead only about classwork, and we will charm everyone else. We are just charming them all. There's a kendo tournament today. All right, what do we want to do before the kendo tournament? Go pray at the shrine that we win. Chigger is chilling out at the shrine. Let's go ahead and charm her. Kendo competition time. Round one. Asaga wins. Round two, Asaga wins. Round three, Asaga wins. What do you take first place? Yay! And so we continue to hit on the girls. Thank you. 
this is the long stretch. There's nothing that goes on this week. Like, this is the week you can just work on your stats. Seriously, why did she have to crash my room all the time? Hey, Kyoto. Yeah? They say that illegal space pirates post space whales. They're a delicacy on some worlds, aren't they? I hear idiots think of eating space whales soup makes them live longer or something. I even read that some people on Class 7 worlds scrap together money for potions brewed from a uh, space whale blubber, thinking it's medical properties. I can't believe people would hunt poor space whales. Kato, you should write a letter to a member of the parliament to pass more laws prohibiting space whale poaching. I doubt they'll do much good. Besides, if space pirates followed the law, they wouldn't be pirates, would they? They're just bands of huge-ass thugs who go around shooting people. They're definitely not little girls like you who go around feeling sorry for space whales. Mer? She pouted. Doesn't Ava Dads work for a Space Force? Maybe uh, we could ask him to protect the space whales. Maybe. Oh, speaking of which, he came back from Solaris yesterday. Really? I didn't know. And you're supposed to be Ava's friend. Kato, if you want a relationship with Ava uh, to progress, you need to start paying more attention to her. You dummy. I don't think Ava wants any more of my attention. Quite the opposite, in fact. Besides, it's not like I'm planning on changing our relationship anyway. Boo! Make sure you make a good impression on our dad, okay? <laughs> Dude, if you have not sealed the deal by now, go to bed. You don't seal the deal till much later on in the game. I chopped uh, her head. Dummy. Owie, meanie. She's just a childhood friend. She sighed and got up. After she walked through the door, she poked her head in again. But you know, she's definitely looking for a boyfriend. I expect results, Kato. She disappeared beyond the door frame for good this time. Damn it, Mary had to meddle in my affairs so much. That, that Ava looking for her boyfriend? Don't make me laugh. Uh, there was nothing but ice running through Ava's veins. Uh, the thought of Ava even having a trace of sexual desire was outrageous. There was no way she would even uh, deny to become a common neighbor like us. So, I better not get my hopes up. I turned off the lights. I'm going to sleep. What a busy day. I fell into bed and quickly went to sleep. Ava was waiting for me in front of the apartment. Oh, morning, Press. I'm surprised you waited for me uh, for a change. Haha. -ha. Hmm? I ran a little late today. What an occurrence. Well, let's go. Something was weird. Is something the matter? No, not in particular. Say, you look pretty nice this morning. Did you do something different with your hair? No, not really. Thanks, though. Something was really off. She would re usually respond with uh, unbelievable, don't say things which other people can misunderstand or at least uh, clap her response with her usual idiot. Not to mention, the face was way too serene to be Ava. Not a single crease on her forehead, her eyebrows not furrowed like she was smelling old cheese. Not a permanent sour look embedded on her lips. Uh, I hear your dad came back from tour. Hmm? You must be relieved, huh? Yeah. Even though it, it's peacetime, being in the Space Force is dangerous work. My sister was watching a documentary about space pirates the other night. Well, I doubt some space uh, thugs would be a problem for the Space Force, but anyways, I'm happy for you, Prez. Thanks. Our transit arrived. Come on, let's go. We entered the uh, school courtyard. Oh, good morning, kiddo. This, uh, uh, the student council president, Mal. Ava gently adjusted Osaga's tie. They're a little crooked uh, this morning, Osaga. Eee! 
As a proud member of Sunrider Academy, maintains a professional appearance at all times. Able pulled the lint roller from seemingly out of nowhere and cleaned up a Saga's uniform. A girl must mind her personal appearance. Please remember that. Eh, eh, what? The Saga looked at me as if she was about to be nuked from orbit. Psst, did something weird happen to the president? She's been like this since this morning. Could it be? She finally got laid? I smacked Asaga on the back of the head. There's no way it could be that, you idiot. I'm just saying. Well, causing such a ruckus this early in the morning. Report to your classes, you two. Asaga walked away while uh, eyeing Ava suspiciously. Don't mind her, she's always like that. Mm. Well then, see ya. See ya. They all like what we're doing, just a saga not as much because we're only talking to her about classwork. Mid break, it's a science uh, thing today. Okay, we are officially five stars with Sola. We're five stars with Chigra. Five stars with Ava. And five stars with the Saga. They're all digging us. So where do we go? I think everybody has finally drifted to sleep on me. Science! Yeah, we'll get through uh, the competition and then we'll call it a night. Looks like everybody's dozed off. Science Center. Visit. It, just because they're here doesn't mean they're awake. Yo, today's the day, huh? Yes? Chigger nervously fumbled her fingers. Don't worry, you'll do fine. It would have been nice if I had a few more days to test the quantum communicator. More, sometimes it picks up strange signals. Strange? They could be a strange entanglements with similar devices. Unfortunately, it's impossible to determine whether those devices exist in our universe, as the entanglements may be from the past, future, or from different universes. Uh, great. We might intentionally establish contact with an alien civilization during the exhibition? Well, on the bright side, I guess we'd be the shoo-in for first prize if we managed to pull that off. 
Although discovery would carry uh, too many other implications as well. Let's hope this goes well. We win. We win. And we win. Night O. I stood from my seat and applauded for Chigura and the rest of the club. After all the hard work we put into our exhibit, it was hardly a surprise we had one first prize. I should definitely, uh, this should definitely impress Ava too. Dot, dot, dot. After the award ceremony was over, I saw Chigura looking for me in the crowd. Ah, uh, Mr. Manager, thank you very much. It's, uh, all thanks that we managed to win. No, you did most of the work, Chigura. Good job. I gave Chigura a pat on her head. Hee <laughs> hee. This is the only, only the beginning, Mr. Manager. Look at all the other exhibits gave me so many ideas. I can hardly wait to return to the lab and make some new inventions. That's the spirit, Chigra. Let's continue to do our best from now on, okay? Sure, I'll be counting on you. Hee <laughs> hee. Club hours are over for today. On day seven. Science Club got uh, bought by Smoke to make 500 watt mod. Okay, so this is where we'll call it a night. We are one, two, three, four, five. Five and two thirds hearts with a saga. One, two, three, four, five. Five and three quarters hearts with Ava. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost seven with Chigura. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, six with uh, Sola. So, definitely coming from behind there on quite a few of them. Boom. We have a save. We'll see you next week. Till then, have a good one. Next time, flirt with Ava. Okay, we'll do that next time. And I'll play the intro one more time. <laughs>